Hey guys, it's Tries here, and I finally unlocked multiplayer mode for Gran Turismo 7. I got it by grinding for about an hour getting each cafe menu done that was required to get this unlocked. Also, I managed to get myself this GT Omega wheel stand along with a used but working Thrustmaster T150 wheel and pedal set. So let's see how this works by going into a single player race. So for the single player race, we're going to be doing one single player race before we jump into the online mode of Gran Turismo 7. It is we're racing three laps of 20 different cars with my Lancer Evo 5 GSR, aka the BK4 overly meme car from GT2000. So it's set a professional level, I'm set to a manual transmission, so let's get ready to start right now, get myself on the track, and get ready to go here, and... Micro leg, and bing, bing, bong, gong. Move, Slady 8. So here we go in the fourth quarter right here. We're passing through cars like crazy despite a relatively stock uh, Evo 5 that we got going out of here. It's making uh, 306 horsepower, 490 something performance points or something like that around that level. So we're going to come up to this amp here, but up ahead. So we're going to break at the 150 marker. Maybe a little bit too. And not too bad, so I did test this out privately to get my use to driving with a wheel, being a long, long type controller user, to a first time wheel user. And we got other Evo 5, but he's blacked out. He's he's not one of us, so it's past. We're gonna get hit by the Evo 5 as. We get hit again! Get out of my way, buddy! I'm on my side of track! I mean, I see him on my radar, but I can't move my camera because, well, this wheel does not have an analog stick, unfortunately, so you gotta pretty much use the radar to see what's up. So beforehand, I bought the wheel stand and wheel. Well, first the wheel, I bought it over a month ago to pretty much predominantly use this for BBG Drive, but like I do, that I cannot fit this T150 into my desk is because, well, my keyboard is a poor keyboard and it's clamped on everything so the clamp could not work with my poor keyboard I either to put the keyboard on the floor to the edge of the point where it's like about to be dangling over to like break it or something like that so it didn't work out one bit so we had 130 ish dollar wheels that i bought off of amazon and a hundred dollar used wheel i bought on ebay so totally around uh, taxes and everything, shipping around $250 total with this year's setup, so I'm kind of liking it so far. So we're in podium place right now, third place between this year M3 and a Mazda RX-7, so we pass the M3 into the Mazda RX-7. Right before the start finish line, we got him in first place, so we can let's just go right here. So with our first single player race, our one and only for this video, we get the dubs. Nice. So yeah, trading for about four or five days with the wheel set and everything, pretty much went out pretty good. I didn't want to make a video making a fool out of myself by using this here wheel and wheel set the very first day I got it and drive like a complete maniac, making things worse upon myself. So that's why it took a few days to get myself prepared. And here we go. We're pretty much prepared for our first online race. So for online races, let's jump into sport mode to see what we got to offer. Sport mode. Yes, yeah, sport mode. Like Director is both sport. So our one and only daily race is Watkins Glen. So what do we got offered to Watkins Glen? Oh no, that's his other races. So Watkins Glen's are road cars. Then a GR4 race for Autodrome de Interlagos and Nürburgring Grand Prix for the GR3 race. Well, it's finally 500 PP cars, so we need sports tires. Well, will this Lancer do or what? I mean, sure, we can get some sports hard tires. We'll do it right now before we cut it way too close for our little deadline that we got going here. So it puts us 41 tenths over our PP value, but we're at 500.41. So I think we can reduce something or what? Can we? Yay, I'm over the limit. Yay. All right, let's jump in right now. So I did tone down my downforce by, I think, like eight points or something like that. So matchmaking starts about eight minutes. Let's qualify right now to see what's up. Will I be a chump on the field, or will I prosper my very first online race of Gran Turismo 7 being a wheel user and not a controller user? The entry period is now in progress, so is that my Lancer or what coming in this frame? Yes, it is. So let's start right now at Watkins Glen, our brand new tracks in GT7. Our most famous NASCAR tracks of all time. It is a NASCAR track. Look at that. I'm a brand new to Watkins Glen because I don't even have it on lock yet. So I probably went a little bit quicker right there, even though we got sports tires. So we could really get down the corners really good. So here's our little flag, man. And here's the first turn that everybody screws up a NASCAR at the 300, I think, foot mark. This is an American town where we do feet 
not meters. Like I said, I've never raced Watkins Glen or Gran Turismo, but for many times on different NASCAR games, and that's pretty much it. So my brake zone, right here. Hard on the brakes of my left foot braking power. Another chicane, which I know that for Gran Turismo, I mean NASCAR by heart. So my first ever lap time at Watkins Glen is a 1 minute, 30 seconds, 475 milliseconds. So again, 300. Break a little bit. There's my ghost car. We cut down. I'm gonna go wide like every other NASCAR driver that goes wide in case something stupid happens. And there's my ghost car again. Yay, I ignored the track limit. Screw you, FIA. You're not the boss of me. You'll be forced to decelerate at the next penalty line. Yes, sir. Tell the FIA to calm down, even though the FIA, I'm going wide up in here, the FIA pretty much terminated contracts of Gran Turismo. They're moving over to Assetto Corsa now, which is kind of some interesting news. So let's let the game decelerate. Just went off the gas pedal. <laughs> All right, about 25 seconds to go. We're gonna get a much better lap to have a one minute, 28 seconds, 950 milliseconds. So much better than our first lap. So again, break way here, cut down on the bottom curb and 60 some miles an hour, a little too faster as I pretty much hammer down right there. So what happens here? Three seconds, three. I get kicked back to the main screen and what? Okay, I'm near the end of the grid and somebody's in a Mini Cooper S, okay. <laughs> Well, where am I at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8th place out of a 9, 10, 11, 12. 8th place out of 12th place. So, 12 cars in, 8th place. Not the best. It's okay, but not the best. Warm ups. In 20 seconds, really? Let's just. Auto drive. 20 seconds to warm up ends. Why do the warm ups when it's, it's gonna be over in like seconds? Thanks for almost losing control for me, mate. Screw you, game. All right, let's get ready. So we're starting to drive right now on our final turn to get ready to start our first online race in GT7, in channel history. So here we go. Accelerate, here we go. Start, and the penalty has not enacted, so good. So if I screw up in the warm-ups, I screw up in the warm-ups, that should be it, not in the race. And is that a Taiwanese player in the Evo? So let's break here. Don't want to be a dick and hit him. Oh, Mr. K-Tune's got a one-second penalty. The guy in the Honda Fit! Jesus Christ, he hit the wall! So the Mr. Honda Fit hit the wall. He's slowing down. He's gonna be slowing down real soon here. Okay, that was kind of dramatic. Mr. Your Glock got a one-second penalty, and the Soviet driver got a half a second penalty, so he's gonna be ready to slow down here. Get off, get off my sack, dude. Oh, okay, the car ghosted, so that's good. So that damn Honda Fit driver is about to cut me off as soon as the penalty was gonna be enacted for him. How about the Lancer and the Sylvia guy right up ahead? Well, oh, they go. So is contact racing available or what? So, damn, Sylvia driver braked a little too early up in here. But I don't know what's his problem, so it's got on his ass. If the Honda Fit driver passes me, then I don't know what's up. Cut down. I'm going to be drifted here. Everybody going wide up in here, including the Sylvia, the Lancer, and the GTO Twin Turbo up ahead by Jason, other American. Okay, we got not the only American in the server. Oh, we got plenty of Americans behind me. So theoretically, if I stay behind this guy, I should be getting at fifth place. If I stay in the spot and stay close behind him, I should be in fifth place because the penalty will tack on to his finishing time. All right, GTO's breaking. Go, go wide. We got it close. Got it close. Got it close. Andale, Andale. Got, okay, panic myself over there, god damn it. Okay, the Honda Fit driver, oh my god! The Lancer driver, the Malaysian guy, I think he's Filipino, the went wide and hit the wall back there. Like every NASCAR driver that screws up at, maybe like, maybe a third of them that screws up and hits that wall right there when they go wide, they hit each other or what, but he just went wide all by himself. So we got Mr. Honda Fit gonna steal his slipstream by a little bit and then cut over and get ready to break at the fire here, right here, right here, right here. Break hard, break hard. A little bit of a, of a curb cut, minor curb cut. I'll be forced to slow down. Yes, sir, again. Um, he's on my ass, so it's kind of cut down. I'm going too fast. All right, he's still on me. Gonna cut down. Okay, I'm cutting down. But we're gonna let this guy pass because I got the penalty. The GTO's about to wipe out. He's slowing down. He slowed down for me. Thank you very much, matey. Oh, Jesus. Went way too fast there and wiped myself out. Mr. Mustang, 
wiped himself a half a second. He wiped himself out trying to pass me aggressively, but it failed. And this evil up ahead back in the first quarter, he's got some pretty good breaks. Mine are just stock. I, I just even changed my brakes not even once, so he's gonna break. I'm gonna stay on his ass, get off the brakes before I continue to wipe out, and... That was even worth it, not one bit. Oh, I think I see Mr. Honda Fit had a one-second penalty, so... Will I be in seventh? Or what? Let's see, he's got a second penalty. I still got eighth. And a GTO Twin Turbo legit freaking dinfed. Sport mode debut. Yep, I got eighth place. What are you gonna give me? 7,600 credits and more stuff to my drive marathon I already completed. So the next matchmaking is about five minutes. We're gonna be doing one more for this year video back at Watkins Glen. I'm not ready to drive a GR4 or GR3 car at the moment because what you see with my debut, pretty mediocre. I mean, I got more stuff to do before I actually get things down and do better with the higher end classes of these here cars. Oh, God damn it. It's gonna give me a penalty. I don't think so. I went, wait, or it did. Will this count or no? Let's see here. I mean, I was doing really clean until that happened. It probably won't. Well, I don't think I'm never gonna be completing this here lap time because matchmaking is gonna start within 15 seconds. So, rip to this run. I pretty much just wasted my time trying to get a good lap going until I wiped out near the final corners to realize I got penalty. But I couldn't wait too wide because I didn't want a car to like skid out or wipe out doing um, some of that crazy braking. So, let's break here. It started now. We got a Camaro in the house, a couple Skylines, a pimped out GTO, and the Grady 6, the Gazoo Racer Toyota. And I pretty much slapped that middle. We got a Renault Megan. So I'm in sixth place out of a possible 11. Your name is Tofu Delivery, but you do not have the freaking Toyota Corolla 8060 Sprinter Toronto Mono from freaking Initial D. So this will be the final race we're doing for this video back at Watkins Glen to see if I can do better than sixth place. And I feel sorry for the Renault driver right there, and if I would've got that 127, wait, would I've been third place? I would've been in a good, pretty good spot, the podium, uh, like the podium region, to start to see a race, but damn it. If I would've wiped out there, I would've made it. All right, Mr. Gazoo, let's go to the zoo. All right, Mr. Gazoo Racer, the Grady 6, he's a little bit too slow off of these straightaways here, so we're gonna try passing him on the right here, so goodbye, Grady 6. All right, got my braking line. Try to go a early cut down. Excelente. The Renault just watch out, watch out, watch out while Renault on the loose. He tried to kill himself. Here's my marker. Brake. Off the brakes. Cut down. Cut down. A little bit harder on the brakes. Cut down. He's gonna stay right. Please stay right, dude. Well, he's gonna be slowing down real soon. He's near the uh, penalty marker. He's gonna be going wide. I'm gonna be on the curb here, and he's gonna stay back. Way up there, man! I'm gonna be a little bit patient here. Okay, go all out here. Stay on the slipstream. But let's see, he's gonna be going to the left. Okay, I got plenty of speed, so I gotta cut over to get out of my apex. Alright, cut over. Eat my dust. Off the brake. Off to here. A little bit less throttle there, and I cut down. Okay, that's pretty textbook, but a little sloppy. Yeah, see, when you got other people around you, it seems like you're losing some sense of, like, how you should be driving, but I'm kind of getting the hang of it now. And RX-7, or RX-8, really wiped out. Rip to him, mate. He went a little bit too quick on that corner there, and nice, see, 129, 346. So let's pump a little. Pump. Dip. Right down on that curb, all four tires were on the curb there. That should not give you a penalty, right? So, that was textbook. That should be pretty much the way to go in the first corner, is pretty much get all four tires on the curb there, and somebody else left, so... Rip to him. Oh, we're gonna get a much healthy lap time. 127! Damn, that's a healthy lap time! That's what I should've got! Alright, pump. Should've got down... In my time trial times, and why are we in the green flag? Did somebody wipe out or something? But we're in our fifth lap, we just know us. We're on lap number five, two laps to go in this here race. And we're doing worse in terms of like grid space. We could have been sixth place with the Sirocco's at, but we may be doing worse, but who knows? Can we pass with the Sirocco? Or no? So he's kind of swerving to the left and right. I don't know if it's the internet or him just swerving, trying to get like, uh, get a block going or try to get him off the slipstream here. 128, that was my second best. All right, break. Alright, he's gonna be running. 
I am stupid. Well, at least I let him know that I'm right here. Uh, I'm probably gonna let go here. Yeah, I'm gonna let him pass here because it's gonna be too risky to try to overtake up there, but was it really gonna be worth it doing that? So apparently, battle for sixth place appears to be in an unfortunate L. So this is our final lap, our final straightaway. I come out in a mediocre seventh place, right behind Mr. Sirocco. And a Cabero takes first place right ahead of the R33. Two GTOs, the R32, the Sirocco, me, and the Golf is still running. Where is the Golf? Damn, he was miles back. This dude's a noob. He's a D-ranking uh, driver rating, and you went, like, miles behind me in a Golf. That's embarrassing. All right, walk back to the garage. Uh, thank you, mister. Thank you, B-Jig, uh, crew chief guy, and clean race star. Can you boost my ranking in? 11,000, okay. All right, GG's. GG's in the chat. So that'll do it if Grand Tourism was some of my first ever online race with my first ever time on a steering wheel. In terms of my performance being at Watkins Glen, well, I'd say I did mediocre. My first race, I pretty much finished where I qualified at an 8th place, and at the second race, qualified at 6th by keeping the same time, well, I would have done better by getting the top 3 or whatever. Instead of staying in 6th place with my qualified spot, I ended up in 7th place, right behind the Sirocco R by Volkswagen. Well, in the future, I will try to do better in private to be a little bit better in terms of racing with road cars, and then I work my way up with GR4, GR4, R3, etc., and all that good stuff. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future. And also, check out my social media down in the description below. So this is Tri's Racing Up, and signing out.